This is Dinosaur Dude, and today I will be showing you my fan-made Lego minifigure series. With these new quote-unquote minifigures, I don't even know what to call them. They're called Beat Bops, that's my name I came up with them. So they're basically uh, like a 1x2x2, two two, uh, like, you know the bird, I don't know what they're called. Like uh, the ones with the studs on the side. So you put eyes on them and then put legs right there. So you get these little guys. So this is the first one. It is a uh, the red bebop. It's just the normal one. <laughs> There's nothing much to say about it really. Okay. The next one is the super bebop, which has this cool little uh, mask on it. He, yeah, like that. Like none of them really need too much explanation, really. <laughs> I was gonna bring some of these over. We got the zombie bebop, which is gray and has like blank eyeballs, so it's kind of scary. Like, not scary, the bebops, but yeah. Next one I made. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I kind of like it. It's the electric bebop, which has like the wheels, just electric legs and a secret head. I, I may, I may like replace it with one of the ones over here. I show those last. They don't have the face plates, but yeah. Okay, the next one is the uh, four eyed bebop. It has like one of the, the things from the brick heads, the studs. You put eyes on all of them, and you get this guy. You should, I shouldn't tell you how to build these. Yeah. I should actually tell like how to build them more. But yeah. So this one is a. Uh, the Cyclops beep out. And this one has red legs and he is a bit of a little black right there. And uh yeah, I can't find any more red ones but <laughs> to be honest, but yeah, there's like a, a red stud, then one of the like one of those pieces and a big eyeball. The next one is the pirate beep out. Which have brown legs and a, a patch eye. This is the uh, the poison doo doo, or not the <laughs> bebop, and uh, he has like green eyes and a blue body. This is the like this is like a mix of like all the bebops. I just call this the. Glitched Bebop. Maybe I, I don't have to be like the rare one. But Lego wouldn't do that. <laughs> the Mr. Gold. But this is the evil Bebop. It has red eyes, purple and blue and yellow right here. Have the grass Bebop, which is a uh, has a grass hanging off its head and a bit taller than normal Bebops. We got the robot Bebop. Which has gray, it has the thing sticking out, the square red eyes, and yeah. The ice beat bop's kind of weird because I can at this time I ran out of the, the the one bricks that all of them need, so this one's actually blank right here, and I have to get this. But this one is um the ice beat bop, so the thing's pretty cool. So now I get me get to the extra ones, which I don't have base plates for. Those are just gonna be like the extra things. Like I kind of want this to only be the series, and Fire Beat Bop I just lost his uh, base plate, so he goes over here. Yeah, so this is just I got 13 over here. I know it's unlucky. I should probably have like someone else like a Troll Beat Bop or something. But nah, I think that's a good series. But these are just some extra ones. Not wave two because I don't have enough. Or maybe I could just make this twenty two and I can combine the both if I ever get more base plates. I don't know. I should just shut up and show you the bops. So this is the uh, crowd beat bop male. Pretty cool. This is the crowd beat bop female. So my bops are put together. They look pretty cool. This is the scuba beat bop. One of my personal favorites. I think it kind of looks like Spongebob with the yellow and the blue, even though it looks nothing like Spongebob. 
Why did it say that? Okay, so this is the um, future, like futuristic Bebop. Has like a hoverboard from the Back to the Future sets, a little speaker right here. And this one actually has a mouth that moves like this. So yeah, that's kind of cool. This is a four leg Bebop. Another one I'm not a huge fan of. And uh, it just has, doesn't resemble Bebops too much. So, I don't know. I could make this if I want to. Uh, this is a uh, good and evil Bebop. That's the evil and that's the good, if you couldn't tell. It has this little, uh, this one actually has arms and I think that's pretty cool. Okay, almost done. So this one is a steampunk Bebop. Uh, it is a steampunk Bebop, which also has an arm. Has like fire coming out. I, I really like this one. I think it looks pretty cool. Now I think this may have to be my favorite, including the one I forgot, which I'm going to mention later. And uh, yeah, this one is the uh, troll troll face Bebop. Of course, they don't actually make troll face Legos, so I just had to use a uh, Nixel from the Nixel Legos face. Has like a little spinny head. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty cool. The, the only problem I really have in the cat has like a problem standing up like all the other Bebops. Okay, I'm gonna get the final one. I think that he's like the best one. So so the final Bebop is right here, the wheelchair Bebop. I don't know, I think think it has like the coolest build. I just crap. Oh my god. Okay. Has like the, like the coolest build out of all of them. He has like all the other Bebops. They have this, uh, like, they just so simplistic. Like, I think the last ones without the base plates are more original, kind of, because you ran out of ideas. Like, you couldn't do these all day, so. Yeah. So, this is the final one. The wheelchair build's pretty cool. I'm missing one of these, and, uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I sh I'm gonna show a picture right about now of all of the Bebops together.